I don't do bugs. Timeliness is common sense, and people don't value time. They look at it as, oh, I'm just running late. But no, that's a big, 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 big deal. It's not just I'm running late, because what happens with time and showing up late and stuff like that is that people end up losing trust because they, if, if they can't even trust you to be on time then so with time comes trust so I'm going to tell you the importance how important time is to me outside of an event even and this is how I look at time. If, let's say I'm doing an interview for a position, for a job position, and um, I have a candidate that I have that's supposed to show up at four o'clock for the interview, right? And they show up at 4.05 or 4.15 or um, they're just late, 4.07. In my eyes, and they come in and they say nothing about, oh, I'm so sorry. Even if they apologize, in my eyes, you should have planned better. You should have planned better to be on time. The same thing translates over to the salon. The number one thing I hear about a stylist or a nail tech or uh, even an esthetician that, uh, that has a salon is, um, oh, I love her because she's always on time. I never have to wait. And, you know, I can remember years ago going into the salon and having to plan an entire day to sit at the salon all day long because the time wasn't properly managed for that particular stylist. And so time equals trust in my eyes. If I can trust that you're gonna get me somewhere on time or that you're gonna get me out of somewhere on time or that you're gonna be on time, that's following through on a promise that you made. And trust is your only currency in, this, in, in business, period. Your audience has to be able to trust that what you say you do, you can actually deliver on. And time is a big piece and a big part of that. It's really important that you start on time. So in order for you to start on time, that, must, that means you have to get ready on time. You, want, you don't want to show up late, period. It just looks bad. So I always tell people when you're doing your events, it's extremely, extremely important that you are on time. I think only once in the last 16 years, now think about that, 16 years, only once have I ever started an event late. And then you have to think too, you have all of the people, I don't care if it's one person or if it's 100 people, you have a lot of people who are showing up, they're trusting you with their educational needs for whatever that thing is that you're teaching. So this is what I tell my mentees. How dare you show up late when people are investing in you? They've spent time, they're spending time away from their families, they're traveling, they're, you know, it costs money. They're paying money to invest in you. So the last thing you want to do is show up late or not be prepared. So that's really, 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 really important. The sacrifice that a lot of people made to get here, and it's really important to me that I deliver and I do my part. Yesterday, we were out and about in New York City, went to Manhattan, Soho. Uh, we went some of everywhere yesterday, really. We were all over the city. Times Square, all of that stuff. And I decided that we needed to come back early because I had the video to get out and I wanted to make sure I got some rest for my attendees today. 
because I can't let them suffer from my lack of responsibility for being out late or being up too late and all of that stuff. That's not fair to them. So when you're doing these events and stuff, you have to be selfless. Um, that's really, really, really important because you want them to have the experience of a lifetime. And in order for them to be able to have that experience, it starts with you. And making sure that everything you do is on time. I talk about this a lot. I have an entire course um, teaching how to do seminars and all of that stuff, seminars that sell. It's not available anymore, but that's how important. I said that to say this. Seminars and live events is an important leg of your business. Because I say as beauty professionals, we all have that one thing that we're known for, that we do really, really well, and people need what we have. And it's our God-given duty to share that gift with the world. I tell my kids all the time, when God gives you a gift and you don't use it, it's selfish. You don't want to be selfish. <laughs>
and then your pricing is increased from there. Your cost, the biggest cost you're gonna have is hair. Because it depends on where you're gonna source your hair from. If you're gonna go on the high, high end, so I'm gonna give you a high, high end example with hair. That five by five closure that I made for that wonderful client, that hair alone cost me around $700. But that's on the high end and I pay retail. That was not a wholesale pricing. So $2,000 for 10 days of work. That's $200 a day. Divide that by eight hours a day. That's $25 an hour. Does that seem like it's worth it? Uh-uh. Nope. So, in your, it, that's what I want you to be thinking about in your mind, like, okay, what, what makes sense? Now, it's the easiest thing to do is just to say, okay, I'm missing out on $1,500 a week behind the chair, that's $3,000, that's my base price. And then work up from there.